So hopefully you can all see that. So we'll just, this is just part A of today's class. We'll look at this and then we'll come back and look at part B later. So today's workout for total reps, one minute on, one minute off for 10 rounds. We're looking at 20 minutes in total of double press up burpees, okay? After the warm up, we will get James to go through these security scaling options and check them all good. And then just a quick look at part B. We won't go through it too much, but you've got as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes, 30 Russian twists, and then every round, 30 double and more. All right. Now, I'm going to get James to demo the warm up movements. So you can just chill out and watch for now, and then we'll get you guys going once James has demoed them all. Just a reminder, make sure you're all on mute if you're not already. Okay, so first movement for our warm up, we're gonna be doing scapular press ups. So just to recap, you're in a push up position, arms stay straight, and then you drop down through the shoulder blades and then push back up through the shoulder blades. It's only a small movement, make sure those arms stay straight, okay? Second movement, from there we can go into peaks and valleys. So sitting in that push up position, we're gonna push our head back through our shoulders, and then we're gonna let the hips hang down, okay? Uh, Helen Young, can't hear you very well, Dan. Guys, can you not hear me that well? <laughs> okay. I can hear you fine. Uh, that's your good internet, Mia, well done. So guys, if you can't hear me very well, just pay attention to what James is doing, okay? They're fairly straightforward movements. Um, you guys have probably done them before. Okay, so peaks and valleys for that second one. And then a third movement, squat thrust. So stand in that push-up position, jumping your feet up towards your hands and back out to that push-up position. Okay, calm, noted. Um, so just quickly, for the, the warm-up, I'll put this in the chat after. Okay, so you'll be able to see it. You're gonna go 20 seconds of scap press-ups into 20 seconds of and valleys, 20 seconds of squat thrusts. Okay, you'll then get 20 seconds rest and we'll do that for three rounds. That is in the chat if you couldn't hear me. Everyone happy with the warm up? Yeah, thumbs up. All good. Okay, guys. So let's keep the 10 second countdown. 20 seconds of stack press up to begin. Three, two, one, let's go. Don't rush this movement. That control through the shoulder blades. Five seconds, and then we're going into peaks and valleys. Three, two, one. Let's change. Hips down, hips up, keeping the arms straight. seconds and we're into squat thrust. Three, two, one, off you go. Feet up to hands. Only a warm up guys. Don't need to kill yourself here. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. 20 seconds rest. And we're back to the beginning with scap press ups. 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Let's go. Nice guys, make sure his arms don't bend. Five seconds. 
Three, two, one, peaks and valleys. Ten seconds. Five seconds and we're into squat thrusts. Three, two, one, let's go. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, 20 seconds rest. And we've got one more round. The workout is also in the chat now, guys, both part A and part B. Five seconds. Okay, let's go, scat press up. Three, two, one, peaks and valleys. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, squat for us. Last twenty seconds of the warm up. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and relax there, guys. Nice. Warm up done. Okay. Can you guys hear me better now than earlier? No good, June. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. So just while you're just having a minute after that warm up, I'll get James to demo the double press up burpee, talk about any scaling options and see if you guys have any questions. Okay, so I'm gonna get James just to do, to do a slow version of it first. So he's still gonna go all the way to the floor like a burpee, chest to floor. But then from here, he'll do a press up, up, back down. And then from there, we'll jump back up out of his burpee. Okay, one more time, a bit slower. Down all the way, chest to floor, push up, down, back up out of the burpee. Cool. Okay, so just do that as a normal speed, James. There you go. Okay. So what we're looking for here, guys, is consistency. Not 20 reps in minute one, five reps by the end. Trying to pick a good speed, pace that we can maintain across the 10 rounds, give or take a couple of reps. Okay. If we haven't got full press ups yet, the way we'll scale this is from our knees. So we'll still go down to our burpee all the way down, but then we just push up, keeping our knees on the floor and then jump back up from there, okay? Ideally, we are gonna keep that double press up in. I would rather you do less reps, but keep this movement than revert to normal burpees, okay? So try and keep the extra press up in if you can, even if it means you get less reps or you need to rest a little bit more. Okay, so guys, what I just want you to do is hit a couple of reps, maybe a couple of press ups on their own, a couple of burpees, make sure you've got that, that rhythm. If you've not done these before, it can feel a little bit weird adding that extra press up in. So just give it a bit of a practice and then we'll get going in a minute or two. Okay, three to five reps, nothing crazy. Nice guys. And if you're going to be keeping your score and hopefully logging your score on Boxmate, your score will be total reps. So you just need to write down your count after every minute and then you can add up all those numbers at the end. Anyone have any questions? Feel free to unmute and ask or chuck it in the chat.
James is backing himself for a win here. <laughs> Okay, guys, when you're ready, just give me a double thumbs up on the camera. Double thumbs up. A single one, Mia. That's it. Nice, guys. Everyone good? Ready to go. So remember, guys, consistently see. Don't go off like a rocket. Let's keep a good pace throughout. You good, James? Yes. Okay, 10 seconds guys, if you've got your tunes ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Make sure when we're hitting the actual push, push up, the isolated push up, we're at knees, hips, shoulders. All moving up and down at the same time. Let's try not to snake these push ups. That's Steve Robinson in a weighted vest. Fair play. 30 seconds down. Oh, it's a quick pace by some of you. 15 seconds, 10, three, two, one, minutes rest. How many did you get James? 11, <laughs> 11 from JC. <clears throat> See some chow, some karate going on in the background. It's all going on in the chow house. She's got an online, online lesson, Dan. Nice. <laughs> like father, like daughter. 25. <laughs> Elite athlete. <laughs> <laughs> Genetics. <laughs> Okay, so let's try and hold that number you got from round one. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Let's go. Nice, good guys. No feet stay on the floor for press ups. Don't let yourself rock back and forth. 30 seconds. Twenty. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, minute off. How much is that weight invest, Steve? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it was a bad idea. <laughs> a really bad idea. How much does it weigh? 10k. Oh, nice. Got them all now. 20 seconds, guys. <laughs> 10 seconds. Ready for round three. Five, three, two, one, let's go. Keep those numbers.
Where my chest hits the floor on the burpee and then again on the press up. Just keep that full range of motion. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. What we'll give up first, arms or the lungs. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one, rest. Three down, seven to go. Thirty seconds. Get eleven each time. Huh? You get eleven each time. Yeah. Three sets of eleven for JC. <clears throat> Ten seconds. Five. Three. Two. One, let's go. Remember that burpee involves jump. You're leaving the ground and his arms clap above your head. Looking good, guys. 30 seconds. <sighs> 20. <sighs> 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Yeah. James just dropped off slightly by one rep there. It's going to happen, but let's try and minimize how much we drop off. You stay in one to two reps, you're doing awesome. 30 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. 5. Three, two, one, let's go. Get in that rhythm and stick with it. 30 seconds to go. Keep checking on those points of the movement. Press ups. Am I moving in a straight line? Or am I snaking? Fix it if you need to. My chest touching the floor, my press up. Keep that full range of motion. Change it if you need to. 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, one, nice. Halfway.
30 seconds. Right, so we've done five rounds. Have a rough idea of our total after five. Let's try and double that now. Keep it the same, 10 seconds. Get ready, three, two, one, let's go. Remember that position on that, press up. Elbow to head, we want to be like an arrow shape, not a T. So don't let those elbows flare out to the side. We want them pointing slightly back or tucked in. 25 seconds. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, rest. Thirty seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one, let's go, round seven. Let's guys, let's dig in now. And his arms, his chest muscles can start being fatigued. Shake them off a bit at the top, straight back down. Twenty seconds. Come on, guys, keep it going. Ten seconds, another rep at least. Five, three. Two, one, rest. Just three rounds left. Thirty seconds. Twenty. On the home straight now. Ten seconds. Five. Three. Two. One, let's get it. Make sure we're fully extending, getting nice and vertical on that burpee jump. We don't want to stay hunched over. Straight line.
30 seconds. Come on, Chow. 25. Ten. Five. Three, two, one, rest. Two yep, two left. Relax those arms, shake them off. 25 seconds. James forgot his headphones, so he's doing this in complete silence. Hopefully you've all got some tunes. 10 seconds. Three, two, one penultimate rhyme, let's go. Nice guys, keep it going. Nearly there. 30 seconds. We're getting to the end now, we're getting really fatigued. Let's keep those points of performance in mind. Chest to floor on all movements. Elbows pointing back. Full extension on the burpee. 10 seconds. Five. Three, two. One rest, one more to go. Thirty seconds. Time to go big on this last one, then, guys. Twenty seconds. Okay, ten seconds. Let's make this one a big number. Let's try not to make it our lowest rep set. Five, three, two. One, let's go. Come on, last 60 seconds, guys. Let's move it. Don't sacrifice form for speed, though. Keep everything moving nicely. Nice, guys. Don't need these arms in part B. Might as well finish them off. 30 seconds left, and then you rest. <sighs> 20 seconds, let's keep moving. Come on guys, straight down, straight back up. <sighs> 10 seconds, couple more reps. Five, three, Five. two, one time. Nice guys, good work. Uh, 93. 93? Yeah. Nice. 93 for James. <laughs> Probably. 
Well Anyone get over a hundred? Nice, well done. Whoa. Joe Chambers, 97. Sarah Burns, 112. Cam, 116. Whoa. Nice guys. Hen Young, 91. Good effort, guys. 81 for June. <laughs> Steve Robinson, 94 at JC Weight. 89, Katie Blake. 93, Chow. Nice guys. Big numbers, well done, Dot, 66, 89, Maxine, 91, Pedro, nice Chantel, 68. So guys, just a bit of a chill out, grab a drink if you need it, okay? I'm just gonna share my screen again, we'll uh, start talking about part B again. Okay, so just to recap, Part B, as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes, 30 Russian twists, and every time, after every round, you're gonna hit 30 double unders. Okay, so we'll go through the Russian twists, go through scaling options, and then the same with the double unders, okay? So, Jamie's gonna demo the Russian twist, so we need ideally a weight if you have one, dumbbell, kettlebell, we can make a sandbag work. So he's gonna aim to have his legs off the floor, and he's gonna rotate side to side, just letting that weight touch the floor under control, okay? He's just done it with a kettlebell, this is with a dumbbell. So you can either cross your legs over like James is doing, you can keep them together like he's done there. Keeping them straighter will be a bit harder than keeping them bent, okay? If you struggle with a weight or you don't have a weight, you're just gonna hit what James is doing now, side to side, okay? If you've got a barbell, I don't recommend using it, okay? Um, so that's your Russian twist. You'll get a chance to play around with those in a minute. And then your double unders, okay? Scaling options. We've obviously got double unders where the rope goes under twice. Or if you haven't got double unders, we've got singles. Or we can do a combination of the both depending on where you're at. If you haven't got a skipping rope or you're not in an area that allows you to skip, we've got a couple of options. If you've got a dumbbell or a kettlebell, we can do lateral jumps, okay? So side to side over that object, okay? If not, you could do penguin jumps, the double tap. So penguin jumps where every time you're off the floor, you double tap and start to learn that rhythm of double unders. If you're gonna go with the penguin jumps, just make sure you're double tapping while you're off the floor. There's no good landing and then double tapping. You need to get that rhythm right to make this an effective drill, okay? With the Russian twist weight-wise, um, it's, yeah, so the unlikely 30 reps unbroken is gonna be tough. So try and pick a weight where you may only have to break this up maybe once. You might go unbroken, but not so heavy that you're having to put it down every 10 reps. Okay, couple of minutes now to maybe practice, especially if you've got multiple weights and you need to figure it out. I definitely warm some skips up, just get those calves going. And if you have any questions, unmute yourself or just chuck it in the chat. So you can see the clock running, we're just on 23 and a half minutes. We'll look to start around 25 minutes. So about 90 seconds still. Oh uh, yeah, good question, Joe. So is it 60 skips if single? Uh, we will keep it the same for today. So no matter what scaling option you're doing, 30 reps. So about 45 seconds, guys, and we'll look to get going.
score for this. Total rounds and reps. And feel free, if you're not using a rope, to mix up your variations. If you want a lateral jump, and then do penguin jumps. Mix it up is fine. Double thumbs up if you're all ready to go. You're good. Okay, perfect. So just to recap, as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes, 30 Russian twists, 30 double unders after each round. Ten seconds, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go. Well, this weight should be touching the floor under control, not smashing it or bouncing it off the ground. You can keep your legs off great. Tuck them in a little bit to make it easier. If you have to put them down on the floor, that's cool, as long as they're still rotating from that midline. <clears throat> nice, a few of you doing the penguin jumps, awesome, let's make sure. Double tap while we're in the air. Nice. Pedro and Adam looking very synchronized there. Nice job. Still try and rotate that midline, not just rely on our arms. If you've got a weight that may be slightly too heavy, you could always hit half your reps and then move to a body weight version. Give yourself some sort of load through the movement rather than body weight throughout. Chose double unders and you're still kind of practicing them and they're not too consistent try not to spend too long practicing if you need to move to singles to get the set done then do it Just coming up to three minutes. If you've had to move to a body weight Russian twist, you want to challenge yourself a little bit more and see how straight you can keep those legs throughout the movement. Steve Robinson, that's a strong Russian twist there. Nice.
Nice guys. Josh, good to see you back, buddy. Just coming up to the halfway point. Five minutes remain. Good adaption, Christian. Weighted into body weight, nice. Keep it moving, guys. Dig in. Nearly there. <sighs> Into the last four minutes now. Calculated rests. If you need to stop, give yourself a time, count down five, four, get back into it. All right, it's coming into the last three minutes now. Go on, Holly, keep it going. Christian, just try and keep those elbows tucked in, buddy. Let the wrist do the work. Good. Smashing it guys, let's just try and keep that movement going. We're nearly at the last two minutes. All right, eight minutes gone, two left. All right, 90 seconds, guys. Let's try and dig in, particularly on those Russian twists. Can we go unbroken? As few sets as possible. Sixty seconds. Come on, guys, nearly there. Not the time to rest now. Come on, in JC, let's get into it. And it will be over soon. All right, 30 seconds. Let's try not to put that weight down or let that rope trip. Constant movement now. 
20 seconds. Keep it going. One movement straight into the next. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, time. Nice work, guys. Grab a drink if you need it. Chill out. Have a bit of a cool down and stretch in a sec. Uh, seven for cool, so James got seven rounds and 30 reps. For a comparison for you guys, you're welcome, Helen. Okay guys, so if you just kind of roll any weights out of the way so you've got a little bit of space and we'll take you through a bit of a stretch, okay? Yeah, yeah. Yep, so we're gonna stretch our calves off to begin with. So if you've got kind of a wall or something you can just put your foot up on, maybe leg of a table, cupboard. So toe, four foot up leg straight and then just shift your weight forward feel a stretch in that calf and ease out of that when you're ready and swap sides go into the other leg And slowly come out of that when you're ready, guys. Right. So next, come onto the floor. We're going to hit pigeon pose. So we're going to have our front leg across our body, we're trying to keep it horizontal, shin, knee in contact with the floor, other leg behind us. And then we're going to stay upright to begin with. You see James got straight arms, pinning his leg in position. You want to be trying to sit that front leg, the glute, the bum, you want to try to be easing that towards the floor. And if you're comfortable too, you can start to lean forward, take that chest a bit closer to the floor and have those arms out in front of you. Slowly ease out of that one, guys, and then switch sides. <clears throat> Should we keep breathing while we're in these positions? Start to lean forward if you can. One of James's favorites going to happy baby. So we're going to be on our back, tucking our knees in, trying to hold on to our feet. Head on the floor. Lower back should be on the floor. From there guys, it's gonna straighten our legs out and then pull one up to the ceiling and take it across our body. Just go back to the beginning there, James. So leg up to the ceiling, 
and then taking out across our body. Try and keep those shoulder blades on the floor and not rotate too far over. Relax out of that and switch sides. Okay, ready, come out of that when you're ready. And that is us done, guys. It's been a pleasure as always. Good work. Enjoy the rest of your evening and I'll catch you soon. Thank you. Uh, Thanks. Uh, Bye. Bye. Bye guys. Thanks, Dan. Good Dan. Thank you. Thanks, James. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Cheers, James. <laughs>